Guys, what's up? It is Doug, and welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages. Check out what I've got here. The classic Lemax Spooky Town piece from 2006, the Boogeyman's Hangout. I had never seen this piece in person, even uh, to my knowledge. And I want to thank my Patreon supporters who make this one possible. This one, I actually got Patreon money. And after this review is done, this building actually is going to a new home. Uh, one of the folks in my Patreon group, I'm going to do a raffle for it. So thank you guys very much for that. So this building here, uh, I want to let you know, I ordered this off of eBay and it was said to be working completely and surprise, it was not. I don't think it was malicious. The uh, the seller was actually very nice about it, refunded me some money off of this because I, I paid a decent price for this building. I wanted to repair this one. You guys have asked for some repair videos. So while this is going to be the review, at the same time this is uploading, I actually did a repair, uh, I did a repair on this building and you can see that it was actually the mummy over here. I'm not gonna talk about it much on here because the repair video will talk about that, but the mummy had issues. I repaired it all as well. So here is the actual review of the building, but you can check that out. I have a link of it below uh, to the repair video. Okay, all right, I lied, not the review just yet. Check this out. This building, I love this when this happens. This classic building had the 2006 catalog in it. Let's take a look in here. Oh man, you know, Look at some of the stuff in here. You've got the Isle of Doom. You've got the Grim Hotel, the Pillager, Dead Man's Mine. Just so many classically mixed Spooky Town pieces. Of course, one of my unicorns here, the RIP Mausoleum, uh, Goosebumps Manor. Oh, the Gothic Ruins, too. So much cool stuff in here. All right, guys, check it out. Here is Boogeyman's Hangout. Piece I've wanted to get my hands on for such a long time. Uh, check this out, guys. Such a classic Lemax Spooky Town piece, Haunted House. So the theme here is that of, I guess, a real haunted house. And I mean, it could work, I guess, for a decorated neighborhood house, but I mean, it's pretty pretty dilapidated for just a regular neighborhood house. I mean, you could do it, but if you wanna get really granular with it, it is more of a, a haunted house, actually, not like a neighborhood decorated one. And you've got a mix of monsters here, hence the Boogeyman's Hangout. Uh, you've got Frankenstein's monster who will come in and out here. You have the mummy in here who will pop out. And you have, uh, well, a reaper here, it looks like. Also a skeleton up here. This piece had, oh, I, I can't forget this detail here. This uh, looks like remains in this bucket out here. It's, it's a pretty macabre piece. And you've got kind of, um, looks like a rat here on the side. And it looks like <laughs> toxic waste. Definitely a spook house. And you've got these different monsters in here. And it's, it's very well lit. You have uh, different lighting. I'll show what it looks like lit up here. And it does have a soundtrack on it. Let me talk about the sound in just a moment. But um, the lighting on this is great. You have the different scenes that kind of light up, right? That uh, it adds animation even when, well, I guess there is animation in it, but it adds uh, some additional stuff by highlighting different things while different things are going on with the soundtrack. So the one thing with the soundtrack, I'm not really a fan of the soundtrack because it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, You'll hear it in just a moment, but there's like a, it sounds like a guy with a chainsaw. There's nobody with a chainsaw here. It doesn't really make sense to me. It's just kind of a bunch of uh, crazy monster stuff going on that doesn't really appeal to this, uh, to what's going on here, in my opinion. But I'll play that here in a moment. What I like here too, the detail, Frankie, he comes out here, uh, and this is actual fabric through the, uh, the clothes hanger there in the sheet. That's an actual sheet there. I love when it does that. I love the, the tree over here. Great paint job on this one too. This is Lemax Spooky Town in its prime. Enough talking about it without showing it lit up. Check it out. Stellar lighting and animation on this one. It's not overdone in my opinion. It's just right. I think I love the different, the different colors, right? When you have, um, you know, not just green or not just orange or not just purple. I love the pieces that have the different colored lighting. As for where this would go, you know, this would be great with like Last House on the left or something. Um, but this is definitely one of the, this is when Lemax really started to get more into animation. It's during kind of the, you know, what a lot of people kind of consider the heyday. From like 2004 through 2007-ish, 
you know, late 2000s, there was a lot of stuff coming out and a lot of animation, a lot of animated pieces that are really classics. This one is right in the middle of that. Of course, 2006 is when this one released. This one's become very sought after on the collector's market. Haunted houses always are going to be, but again, you know, you're in that, you're in that range of like the Lemax Spooky Town Golden Years. And um, this one does fetch high prices now. Of course, it is retired. And everybody just digs the theming on this one. And I, I do think it's for good reason. I think it has merit. Really cool haunted house. Uh, again, I think this would go well with like your last house on the left. That's always what jumps out at me. Last house on the left. Because I think that's kind of the premier Lemax Spooky Town haunted house. But if you wanted something that's a little less. Uh, or it's, it's you know not as overstated as that one. Because last house on the left is quite brash. This one it still sticks out because of that lighting and the animation on it, but it's not as brass, just like a last house on the left. And uh, you could kind of put it anywhere in your display. It would work up at the front, it would work at the back uh, because it's not gonna draw all the attention, but it's not gonna get lost either like a lit house would be. Construction on it also, it's heavy. It's like heavy, a heavy porcelain style house. I know a lot of folks really like that and miss that. Even though Lemax does some of the buildings like that a lot of times now it's lighter. This one is definitely heavier in construction. Yeah, guys, that is the Boogeyman's Hangout. I want to thank everybody again from my Patreon group for allowing me to review this piece. And soon it will be going to its new owner. And before we do the lights and sound, just a reminder, if you want to see how I repaired this piece, which it had a malfunctioning mummy, I have a video of that that just went live, uh, as this did, and I'll put the description for that down below. So thank you guys very much for watching. And here it is with the lights and sound.